This is my Elden Ring use what you see item and enemy randomizer, where any item I find throughout the world I must immediately pick up and equip, as well as all enemies, bosses, and items are randomized. In last week's episode, we saw just how brutal this run can actually be. In order to finish this run, we will need to collect 7 great runes, as well as several key items. These key items being things like the rolled medallion, which will allow us to access mountaintop of the giants and is required in order to beat the game. As of right now, we are still missing enough great runes to access Lindell. Lindell blocks a ton of progress moving forward. On top of great runes, however, we still need the ever so elusive rolled medallion. When we last left off, we were stuck between two very awkward fights. Had this thought. While we have a good weapon, we might want to go do the Boston Ranala's arena. I want to kill this guy, but I'm afraid he'll drop something. Well, a little bit of luck. I want to try to keep as much HP during the fight as I can. Just because I don't know what phase two is going to be. Dude. I'm getting my ass kicked right now. Come on, that's not fair. Oh god, dude, okay, come on. I don't, this isn't this doesn't feel fair to me. Got phase two. Oh, we're gonna be here for a couple hours. I don't think a charge R2 here will kill. Thank God. All right. A fucking great rune. Hell yeah. Ten out of ten worth. <laughs> I think I want to upgrade it a little bit. Just because I want to make... I don't want to die to Renala for half an hour. Yeah, that damage is so much better than... Whatever the nonsense was that we were doing the other day. Renala shouldn't be too bad with this. Okay. <laughs> What's up, this? Fucking let's go, dude. Three great runes. <sighs> Hell yeah. Progress. So we have access to Lindell. We have Altus. I kind of want to go do. Wait, we gotta we gotta do the rules. Hold up. Malekith. Okay, Moog. <laughs> nice. Uh, do we want to continue this way? Like, I'm trying to be as optimal as possible while we have Serpent Hunter. Because that's, like, a pretty big deal right now. So we can head, keep going this way. We could go back towards... We can go to Siofra. I'm going to commit this way. Wait, are there just, like, no items here? I know there's a couple over there. Okay, you're technically what... I'm considering this thing to be a key item. Or not a key item, an item. I can promise you this is going to be the most stacked this character will be this entire playthrough. We've gotten a lot of shit bosses out of the way. We got Placida Sacks out of the way. Why do I fucking talk, dude? I don't remember how to fight Millennia. Did game crash? Hello? Game crash.
Wait, I can do the R1 there. Saint Serpent Hunter. Like so. Dark Moon Ring. We can kill us up on Ronnie, you know. Okay, let's. Do we just go straight to Garg's arena? Like, do I just keep going? This would let us get to Estelle. Oh shit. Fuck! Alright. Well, at least we got, like, a few bosses out of the way with it. We got, like, a lot of bosses with that out of the way. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. And let's be honest, it would have been kind of boring if I just used Serpent Hunter the entire time. Holy shit. Yo, he was stacked! My man was hoarding items, dude. Oh no. I hate Gideon. I'm gonna die a lot. What does this AI? Not even close. Can you make that jump? I actually don't know how you get over there. That looks doable to me. That's not doable. We'll just go around. <laughs> like I go up here and to the right, I think, to get up there. I think this is how I get to the item. Is it over here on the right? I think. I don't know. Wait, how do you get to Ant Cave? Oh. I don't want to talk about it. So next time. Played a little bit different. This is uh, where the ants normally are. The big ants that give like the golden room 12s or whatever. Fuck pain. Torment. <laughs> Split physical and fire? What can go wrong? I don't know. Well, let's just go towards the boss. Maybe we'll find an item along the way that's good. Yes! Torch runs dead. Right, let's get some levels and see what this boss is. Let's get a level. <laughs> Alright. Hour and a life long fight. I thought you could strafe that. Am I making this up? Why am I trying to strafe things that I thought you could strafe that you clearly can't? Cut. Yeah, that muscle memory really coming in clutch. <laughs> 
I kind of want to do Siofra. I kind of want to get everything done in early game right now. Like, I want to do Siofra and I want to do the Kalid vendors and get all those checks just, like, done. So I don't have to, like, go back. You know? Yeah, I'm a bodybuilder. Six foot three, 235 pounds of hulking mass, mon muscle, the peak of human evolution, the pinnacle of existence. Okay. Don't be gods can do it. And don't be dual guards. Those are like the two bosses that are going to suck the most. Alright. VOD viewers, skip ahead. Seven hours. The stream watchers, go to just get a nice little sleep. And at my plus zero. Oh, the damage is actually pretty good. Yeah, I knew that was a bad decision. Fuck me. <laughs> yeah, it's a big arena, but these guys just fucking suck, dude. Like, this is so dumb. Just making me run away. Alright, I'll be right back. I don't remember it. If the poison, like, didn't exist, this would actually be one of the best duo fights they ever made. I'm dead. See, I'm just dead. I'm just dead. I need to kill you, because then I have a one-on-one -on -one with this dude. Yeah, they definitely did. Duo fights aren't that great in this game. Okay. And sorry, you said I missed an item that I looked at back here. It's inevitable I'll, I'll, I'll miss items because my brain's just used to like overlooking them. Uh, where was it? Oh, yeah. That probably would make the fight easier. <laughs> Well, it sucks, because I really... My first playthrough, Godskin Apostle was one of my favorite bosses. And then I fought him again. And then I fought him again. And then I fought him again. <laughs> it was just like, when does it end? <laughs> nice. Alright. Uh, I believe there is another vendor... Like, over here somewhere? I think... Is there a golden seed here? I thought there was a golden seed, like along this road somewhere. The donkey will live. I have nothing against him. It's this man I don't like. You know, it's actually kind of more fucked up not killing the donkey, because now he's gonna starve to death, because his owner won't be able to feed him. I really am a madman. Onyx Lord's Greatsword. Am I crazy or there's just like a serious lack of items in Alt Altus? I see the oh, no, fuck that. Oh my. Okay, is this really worth like fighting this right now? I'll tell you what's made this challenge the hardest, though. Honestly. Uh, having to pop runes right when I get them. Because dying to a boss, it's like, I, 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 sometimes I just, like, you know. Well, that's inconvenient. So it's, or like, uh, same with, oh, fuck. I didn't know that had, like, an AoE effect to it. Thank you, Dim. I definitely hit roll, but okay.
It's like every time I go to attack, I get attacked. I really don't know the moves. Okay. That attack has the poke. Oh, I didn't think it lingered like that. Oh, I should be dead. Okay. <laughs> that was a little sketchy, but we did it. Fuck. Fuck yeah. Okay. Sorry for YouTube. Hell, heck yeah, boys. Woohoo. And key item locations. That's a lot of damage. <sighs> Game plan. Oh, no, <laughs> don't follow me. <laughs> you were supposed to stay. The big cheese. The big cheese. Is that cheating? Is this cheating? I, I can't tell if this is cheating or not. This almost feels cheating. I thought it was going to be a randomized item, and now I feel like I'm cheating. Yeah, I don't want to do that. I thought it was going to be a randomized item. I'm not doing that. Okay. That's, that's kind of how I expected the fight to go. Oh! You can't! I didn't roll because I thought I could strafe it, but I'm stupid and I make bad decisions. <laughs> I was like, oh, I could just run around him. But it's the Draconic Magma Worm. Nice. That wasn't too bad. I'll be honest, I didn't really know the Magmorn's moveset until that. That's the only good thing about this. It's been a good learning experience for, like, Leonine. I fucking got Leonine down. Well, that's cursed. Okay, how do I... Oh, shit. How do I get up there? Oh, no. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Full boards. Best bingo. Oh, my God. It's the Dark Moon Gray Sword. Oh, my God. It's such a good weapon. It does frost damage, but it has shit damage. My god, I'm so excited to use this weapon. It is pretty shit damage. <laughs> Compared to, like, other weapons in this game, yeah. I mean, if you take the time to get all the buffs and shit for it, sure, it's probably okay. But if you're just, like, doing, like, a playthrough that you use this weapon, it doesn't stack up with, like, other weapons, like Golden Halberd. Uh, what's that one weapon with a big cat head on it, almost? I'll have to go back up so we can grab that item on the stairs that I just ran by. What's the best way to get up? 
I struggle to get up. Uh, it's gonna be... God's gonna do it. Oh, we can do this. <laughs> if Gideon, if you let Gideon talk, he's a fucking menace, dude. If Gideon decides that he wants to finish his dialogue, you are done for. <laughs> Godric fat rolling. I like Godric. I think Godric's a cool fight. Uh, I didn't think about that. I'm fucking stupid. Uh, fat rolling. I can't double roll out of rolls. Nice, nice. Sewers? Uh, yeah, we can do sewers. It's gonna be rough mid-rolling, but I also will have, um... Mid-rolling for it is gonna suck, but it's gonna have more items. It only has one check, but more items, which means a better chance at getting, uh... Mid-roll. Just fucking die. Oh my god. Thank you. This is where you do the actual skip, right? You do it from the upper part or the lower part? I forget. Hold on. Just do that. That's how we used to do it. That's so much easier than whatever you're fucking trying to do. Be something light. Light roll. Yes! Okay. Oh my god. We need access to Mountaintop of the Giants, but in order to get there, I will need the rolled medallion. As far as I know, Radon right here is the only check I haven't completed, which means in order to progress any further, we need to take down Radon. Unfortunately, I don't know his moveset that well, and my damage isn't exactly that great. I 
I don't really remember the timing. Bro, I can't see what's going on. I'm trying to heal, dog. Just let me, let me. Oh, I can get the repost. I get, fuck, I can't get the repost. I'm stuck. doing a stale run. I'm trying to decide which way I want to commit. These are really the only two options I can think of. Radon and this. You know, it's sad to admit, but it's true. I probably learned more for, about the, the Radon fight from that than I ever did before. Just because I was actually forced to fight him and not just melt him like we do in all the speed runs and all the other challenge runs I've done. Because you get so fucking broken, busted OP in this game. I saw two items and there's a vendor here. Go to the vendor real quick. Actually, we'll do this item and then that item. So, so I'm kind of being honest about the order I do everything in. In case something replaces something. Oh my god. Well, that was... Okay, so we have Royal Knight Gauntlets. And then we have... Stormhawk Axe. Unfortunately, we replaced the Tish, Which is actually one of my favorite weapons. What did I just witness? Be something amazing. Okay, well. No one asked for any individual to carry this much ghost glove work. There was, was not an ask of anyone. We're gonna replace the weapon here. Okay, hold on. Okay, wow, okay. Tower shield for tower shield. Bleed weapon, that's good. And then, was it Greaves? Yeah. The mace does do bleed da This does do bleed damage, right? I'm not making that up. Oh, I got runes too, my bad. I wonder if that'd be any good against Radon, just for the bleed. Man, I might even get to use the, the cool weapons. Okay. So much for the bleed idea. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Golden Seed and a Bell Bearing, then maybe not. This game is probably the easiest Souls game, by quite a bit, if you want it to be. But, uh, yeah. Okay, carry an inverted statue. Huge. How's this the easiest Souls game? Because you get so insanely overpowered, you have summons that are insane. Or rather, let me, let me rephrase that. I think ER is the easiest Souls game if you want it to be. If you do, like, a run like this, it can be quite difficult compared to others. But if you, like, go out of your way to, like, get, like, Flame Grant Me Strength, Golden Val, the fucking Commander's Staff, whatever it's called, and you buff stack, or you, you get, like, some insane OP weapon like Serpent Hunter or the Iron Balls or whatever, then, yeah, maybe it maybe it is a bit easier. Or a bit, um... Like, if you, like if you avoid doing all that, then we can have some discussion, but... If you want it to be the easiest, it's not hard to make it the easiest. If you want it to make it the hardest... I mean, I don't know. The way the poise... Yeah, I mean, the way summons are in this game, like... Like, people keep suggesting, like, me to do a, a summons-only run. It's so... Was there a legendary item? Sorry. Um, 
it's so, like it's just boring. Like you just get mimicked here and it just busts everything. But my biggest problem with a lot of challenge runs are things like um like the summons only. Where like some bosses could be super long hard fights. And in which case, like, you're not really interacting with the fight itself. You're just running around hoping that your summons do the damage. And like, for instance, like Chris's 5x 10x enemy randomizer. Or like 5x 10x uh thing. To me, it's not very inter like enjoyable to do because it's like you're just hoping that you get the good RNG where the bosses don't just instantly clap you. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like challenge runs like that. And that's why I don't do challenge runs like that. Because I find them to be incredibly boring. And that's not a diss at Chris either. I like Chris. But I'm just talking about on the topic of challenge runs I do and don't enjoy. Um, it's just that you're, you're hoping for good RNG. Like, you're not really, like, interacting with the fight. You hope that you get the right setting for it to be successful. And again, if it's something that, like, you will enjoy. Not, I'm not talking about you in particular. But just, like, people in general. Then... Nothing's wrong with that. If it's an easy boss, we'll just knock it out with this. Oh, we can do Loretta. Oh, we can... Can we go... Oh, we do? We can go marry Ronnie! Oh, fuck. Give me something good. I want a divorce. Oh my god. Did I just witness? Man, this is cursed. I need, I need, I need something. I need a weapon that I can wield. Radon, Radon's like the last thing in our way. We need a weapon for Radon. I, please don't be a great rune, actually. I want you to be a fucking legendary sword. Fuck. I mean, yay, but fuck. <laughs> So we need roll medallion. In order to get roll medallion, we need... Radon is the only thing I can think of that's in our way. But taking on Radon, that's... I need a weapon. Wait. How do I use Mighty Shot? Oh, it is an item. That's awkward. Legendary? Come on. Come on. You provide nothing decent. We're gonna do the fun little cheese here. Assuming it works on him. You're the perfect boss for this cheese. Alright, so he turns out to not be such a great subject for this experiment. Um, I've ultimately decided this is not the path that I want to take. As an honest gamer who doesn't believe in cheesing or glitches or uh, anything of that nature. As an honest gamer who doesn't believe in cheesing or glitches or uh, anything of that nature. And it sucks because the best weapon we've got, like, we've gotten two, three insane weapons that would have been awesome for Radon. But, unfortunately, we lost them all, like, instantly. We had the Black Knife, we had Stormhawk Axe, and we had, um, Mace. All of which would have been really nice for Radon. I mean, I guess the shield does bleed, technically, if I want to shield him to death. But that sounds like the worst idea I've ever had in my life. And I've had a lot of bad ideas. I live in Ohio. 
Can we go loot Stormvale? Isn't there a golden seed down here somewhere? Like in Stormvale somewhere? What's the point of this area? I swear I played this game before. I know, I just need like something. I need just a sword that preferably does 645 damage per R1 and attacks like a dagger. Okay, there's that item. I'm so stupid. How do you get over there? You are the weapon. Do we commit? Do we commit? Do we go to Radon? I'm I'm greedy. Wait, no, this wasn't actually. I'm greedy. I need more. I need more. I need more. No wonder my ex left me. <gasps> How do you get that item again? It's not through here, is it? Oh, you need to go up above and drop down, right? How do you get that item again? How do you get any items in this game, bro? I don't know. I feel like I need a wiki for this playthrough sometimes. No, but seriously, how do how do you get up there? Do you have to go around and drop down? Oh, is it down here? Do I drop here? Good, honest human. That was incredibly worth it. I've never seen a more worth it adventure. So we need faith. I ain't talking about Jesus. Where am I? I've never been over here. You are what I want. Am I giving myself head? Where's the other item at? Oh, right there. I'm, I'm, I'm getting greedy and it's good but bad. You are going to be phenomenal. Wait, how do you get over there? How do you... How do you get over there? How do you get down there? I don't remember. Where are barrel birds at? They're over there, right? Or not, like... I need to go up and around. Did I jump across? Yeah, I have no idea where I am. I'm pretty sure this isn't the same game I bought a year ago. People keep asking for DLCs. This is what this is. Is go explore the rest of Stormvale. It's going to take you the same amount of time as a DLC. Guys, there's... I, I, am, I am lost beyond measure. I feel like I'm driving in a different country right now. See the stairs? No, I don't see stairs. There are no stairs. Stairs don't exist. Yeah, I'm trying to find the item I, I saw before, but I don't know how to get there. Hold on. I need to find these items. Let me do that real quick before I do anything else. I've never been here in my life. I did not know this place existed. Where do I go? Oh! Where am I going? There's so many items that I've seen that I'm trying to figure out how to get to and then I get down this path that just leads to more items that I see kill him wait look at him this I, I had no idea stormville had this area i have all achievements for this game and i didn't know this area existed how does that work out i don't know what snack you're talking about left in the balcony no oh, oh sorry <laughs> sorry sorry boss <laughs> Techno, you are... Wait, I'll bite my tongue for now.
Techno, you are a savant. A modern day genius. That was such a waste of fucking time. Techno, I would not be offended if you just never type in the chat again. You just come in here, guide me, and then just never come back. <laughs> just never another word. Okay, so how do you get to the snake? Why'd you leave? We're trying to... This is a puzzle-solving stream. There, There's there's what? What am I looking at? What wouldn't think? Listen, alright? My hours were not spent in Stormveil. They're spent doing rune level 1 speedrunning, okay? This is news to me. I am, I, I, guys, this is the greatest moment in Twitch history. What is this? Why are you here? Where is this taking me? I'm too invested in this area, Liv. We're not climbing that ladder. All right, we are going to do Radon. Thank God. But now we have run into a problem. Where the fuck is the rolled medallion? I don't think it can be in the towers, Recycle. What's the thing I just got? It was... You're right. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. I forgot that was a thing. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, huge. 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 I forgot that was a thing. Where's that golden seed at over here again? Is there not? Ah, oh, there is. That didn't feel very fair to me, honestly. What's your favorite pizza? Um, spicy chicken pizza with hot sauce, ranch, pickles, and yeah, cheese, I guess. And of course, like pizza sauce, bread. Well, that looks like death. That looks awful. me off <sighs> okay that's not what I meant to do Well, I say we get a little bit of an upgrade. The 
only boss I can think of right now, or only key item check I can think of right now, if is Morgoth. Sorry, we know that Rivers of Blood is... Should I just go loot Rivers of Blood? I know where it's at. Oh, what a freak, huh? You would have freaked. Well, it would help if I... Remember how to play the game. Yeah, we're not doing that. You have a 13 second fall timer. Swinging your sword resets that fall timer. Hello? What are these hitboxes? Bro, this is like the craziest no-hit run ever. I need like a weapon with bleed. It's ideal. That is not ideal. Oh, I think I did this one actually, too. Well, I'd make the argument that was not ideal. <laughs> was Roma dying in the shop? This moment right here broke my spirit. I swore I had checked every vendor thoroughly. The last several hours were all spent in an effort to get stronger and get better gear so that I could actually take on Radon. None of it was necessary. I don't want to talk about anything. Well, Mountaintop of the Giants, available. Wonder how long that's been available. Wait, what am I doing? Well, we have a ton of checks now. As far as bosses and shit. Or, uh, like, items. But unfortunately, from here on out, it, it's, it's just great runes. Like, I'm pretty sure the only checks I have from here on out are in Faroom. Which means I have to kill Fire Giant. Uh, the Fortis Axe Arena, which means I have to kill Fire Giant to access the Fortis Axe Arena without getting the... Gaming. This is like the new fit, dude. We got the capris on, we got the little fucking mask. Alright. Okay, that was a fun little arc we had. I just need, like, a fucking something that does, like, any amount of damage. Isn't there, like, a door over here? Am I crazy, or is there, like, a door up there? I forgot what I was doing. More got time, baby! <laughs> Fucking insane weapon, okay. Alright. Okay, the R2 exactly isn't exactly hot.
Death Raid. Do or die. Sloppiest Morgoth fight I'll ever have. Could you imagine if I went through that entire fight earlier with a shit weapon? And didn't get the rolled medallion? Don't be a weapon. <sighs> Why? 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 What is the point in existence? I genuinely, I genuinely like, that is the most heart sinking moment of this entire playthrough so far. We've had some crazy like long fights and everything, but nothing is quite as bad as like, we finally get probably like, like one of the better weapons in the game. We're in a position where it's hopefully a pretty linear shot to the end of the game. And then we get a bow. Oh. Come on. Just give me something. What are the chances I remember how to do this skip right here? Zero? Where's my sub? Sub to me. Sub to me. So we should do... Well, I need a weapon. Priority numero uno. And then I kind of want to do... If my weapon's good, we'll continue on with Fire Giant bosses. Whatever bosses are in Fire Giant's arena. We can try to kill the NPC over here with Rivers of Blood. Uh, and try to get him to fall off the map. I can do that. If I remember how. Okay, I don't exactly remember how to do this. I think you go like this. Is it right here or over here? I think it's over here. Dude, that's menacing as fuck. Come on. Okay, you know what? You're not worth any kind of suffering. There we go. Spike this spear? right here, Night Helm, is the biggest thing to happen to this playthrough. I had no idea okay. just how good the spiked spear is, but having intrinsic bleed on a weapon, especially in a run like this where your damage isn't that great all the time, is a huge, huge, huge deal. The most important thing to me right now is protecting this weapon and being able to hold on to it for as long as I possibly can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that damage is nuts! That's uh, the pull up attack, isn't it? Can you not bleed him? Oh, hey, yeah, you can. <laughs> okay. 
Don't be Godskin. Don't be Godskin duo. Don't be Godskin duo. No, this is the one in... Oh. He didn't do his charge like he normally does. I didn't mean to jump. This terrain, dude. Ah! Yikes. Awkward. Ah, oh, yeah! Oh my god, I don't remember how to one roll that. It's a really good arena for him, actually, too. Uh, I got greedy. Summerstone Miner's Bell Bearing. All right, for room. Now, for room is going to suck because there's a lot of items. We are going to lose. Um, we're going to lose the weapon here. We finally managed to make our way to the mountaintop of the giants after several hours searching for the rolled medallion. We conquered the last two bosses that block our access to Farum Missoula. From now on, we have a straight shot to the final area of the game, Lindell the Ashen Capital. Unfortunately, however, we are still missing several great runes. I have it set so I need to collect all seven great runes in order to finish the game, and we're not quite there. The most important thing to me at this moment in time, protect the spiked spear. Little did I know this weapon right here would be our ticket to actually making some serious progress. In the next episode, we will be finishing this run. Or... maybe.